All right, I said essays, but I'm tricking you. Really, we're gonna talk about data analysis first. Here's the thing about data analysis. All the stuff that you're studying, I know what you're studying. You're studying all your terms, the kidney, photosynthesis, NADH, NADPH, all that content, you're studying all of it because there's so much and it is pretty crazy. There is tons there. But the sad thing is, is that you are totally underestimating the importance of these data analysis questions. Big chunk of paper two, big chunk of paper three, if you add up the total number of points, it's about 18 points out of 60 something points for paper two. That's a quarter of the paper two score. And for the options, uh, for higher level at least, it's 40% of the paper three score. The first question in option three, the option three paper is a data analysis question for both of the options that you're actually studying. This is crazy. So if you want to get those maximum scores, the, the sixes and the sevens that you're aiming for, you really got to make sure you're doing a good job on these questions. And um, strategy-wise, some people talk about, well, should I do the essays first or should I go with the short answer first? You should start with data analysis first. They put that at the beginning of the paper. The reason why? Data analysis is going to require your most abstract analytical thinking. You're presented with graphs, some other scientist's data that you have never seen before, and I can see, oh, evaporation cycles here and a percentage yield of a valine percentage, and I can read off these numbers here. The first few questions are going to be easy. So get the easy questions right. So why do people get them wrong? Because they miss units and therefore they miss silly points, or they're lazy and they don't use their ruler and actually go up and look. So if I see this number going up here, this gray bar for evaporation cycle one is going up here. If I try to read off a number, look at that scale and take the time and calculate it. Don't be like, oh, it's about 0 0.5. So I'm gonna write 0 0.5, zero points. I'm gonna so say 0 0.5, I put percent, so you put 0 0.5 percent, zero points. You need, to, you need to calculate what that is. What is each one of these divisions actually equal to? Is it equal to point? 0, 0.5 or what is it equal to? Figure it out and then write as close of a number as you can to what it actually really, really is. Know the command terms. Uh, easiest thing to do, go to Quizlet. I just tried this so I know it works. Go to Quizlet.com, search IB Biology command terms. A bunch of people have made, there's like 30 terms there. Use that and do that like 10 times. It'll take you like 10 minutes and then just to make sure you know what all the command terms mean. You know, the words like outline, evaluate, explain, describe, do what the question is actually asking. So that's super important right there. Uh, use the number of points to guide you. If it's one point, then it's probably about reading off a number here. But if you don't get the, the units, you don't even get that point. So use the number of points to guide you. If you run out of space, I said this earlier in the, for the other parts, uh, you, can, you can continue on to the booklets. Um, for a higher level, this first, this is actually option three, but the paper two always starts with a data analysis question, and it often has this many parts. It has a part A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. That's crazy, and that's all question one. And they get a little bit more complex as you get up here, and they start to ask things like, suggest possible conclusions for the experiment, or using the results in the graph, deduce the effect, and they use all these, this big language, but really what they're trying to do is trying to get you to think like a scientist in real life. By the time you reach letters G, H, and I, you'll have come across probably three different graphs, and they'll ask you to look at all the results from the three different experiments and synthesize the findings and evaluate the hypothesis or come up with the conclusion. And you know what? Just like in real science, often there may be more than one way to draw a conclusion. Or the evidence may support the hypothesis from one opinion, but if you look at it a different way, it may actually go against the hypothesis. And guess what? If there's, there's going to be any kind of argument there, they have to make sure that's included inside the mark scheme. So if you say, it depends on the data though. If you can look at the data and you can, you can conclude that uh, it doesn't fit the hypothesis, then you can say that, but back it up using the data from the graphs that actually shows that. If you think it has the opposite, then you make the opposite justification, but use the appropriate uh, data to suggest uh, why that conclusion would be reached as well too. This is how real scientists work, and that is the point of this data analysis part here. If you go on to do any kind of science or research in college or anything like that, uh, these are the types of articles and conclusions that you're going to come up with 
and other people are going to look at your results and challenge your findings and try to repeat your experiments. That's the way that science works. So they're trying to get you to think like that. So that's why it's huge and it's, it's important here. So don't underestimate. Best thing you can do tonight, half the time studying content, half the time uh, practicing data analysis questions. You know how to find them. This video is getting long. I'm so sorry. Last section. Here we go. Last of the question types, the essay questions. I cannot emphasize this enough. Here's what it looks like for higher level. For standard level, you're just going to have three questions, like five, six, and seven. I've seen students walk out of the exams being like, oh, that was so easy. Was so easy. I can't believe everybody's still sitting in there. And what did they do? They only answered one of these sets of questions. It says right here, read the instructions carefully, folks. You're going to get five minutes of reading time, so please make sure you actually do that. It says answer two questions for a higher level, so make sure you choose like five and six or five and seven or six and eight. You can't pick an A from here and a B from there and a C from there and everywhere. you got to actually make sure you're picking two out of the four. For standard level, you're only going to pick one set out of three. That's the main thing there. It says two additional marks are available. These are not bonus extra points that you can be like, I don't feel like doing it. You will lose those marks as this thing gets graded out of 20 instead of, uh, sorry, you get one mark. It's uh, 18 marks for question five and then one extra mark for constructing your answer. That just, re that just really means are you writing in full sentences and is there does it make sense? Are your ideas actually flowing and building off of each other? Don't get crazy with the essay writing, but um, don't get lazy and just write in bullet points. So I think that's what I'm trying to say right here. Obviously, pick a question that you actually know, but what you should do is you should write down keywords and phrases for as many of the questions as you can, and then outline them and then choose the ones that you think you that you actually know. So how, one other thing is, if you take a look at these questions, I'm sure you've seen tons of these, make sure you know what the question is really asking. If it's saying something weird about prokaryotic uh, DNA replication, are you getting thrown off by the word prokaryotic? Are you writing about transcription when you should be writing about replication? Okay, be careful about those things. Are you writing about uh, chemiosmosis and electron transport chain when you really should be writing about something specific to photosynthesis? What are the questions really asking? Think like a test writer. Remember, the content has not changed for many, many years, decades, and they need to keep trying to come up with different ways to ask the same question. For the most part, a lot of them will be pretty straightforward. Explain the light, independent processes of photosynthesis in plants. Just make sure you're actually writing about photosynthesis and you're not writing about the Krebs cycle in cellular, cellular respiration. Um, take your time with it. This, you have the potential to score a lot of points because you can actually take your time and choose what you know best. So go for it. And finally, last few things here. Uh, no calculator allowed on paper one, only on paper two and three. You should be writing in pen. Bring a ruler for all three papers. Paper one is multiple choice. You're going to use pencil there uh, to draw X marks. Don't leave any blank spaces there. Paper two is the data analysis, short answer, and essay questions. Do not leave early. Uh, students are leaving early from exams. I know it feels great to leave early. You're showing off. You're like, oh, I don't care anymore, blah, blah, blah. But don't leave early. That's just really, really sad. Uh, I've got to remind you again, higher level has to answer two out of four essay questions. And finally, if you go in thinking and you see something, you see a question, you're like, I didn't study this, you lose confidence. I get that. I, I lose confidence as well, too, when I see something like that. But just remind yourself that you've worked for two years on this stuff. It's very unlikely that something's going to show up where you have never, ever seen before. So it's probably... Maybe it's probably not going to be correct if you put a good amount of time studying or they're just writing it in a way that's trying to trick you. So approach that with a growth mindset as a challenge that you're going to try to figure out. Come back and take a look at it if your eyes are tired. But don't cop out and be like, ah, shoot, I didn't study this. This is it. I'm stupid. I'm not going to be able to uh, achieve today. Bad day. I don't care. I already got into college. Whatever. It's all over. This video has been very, very long, but I wanted to put it all together. Please watch it all the way till the end. If you didn't, uh, I'm going to knock you off my subscribers list. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Please, please don't. Don't. Don't leave. Don't leave. And kick some butt on the exam to my students and all the other IB Biology students out there. I wish you the best of luck. Uh, you don't need it, but...
I'll say it because that's just the thing that people say. <laughs>